low tide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it like muddy water? I mean, mud well, it's mud flats. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So we're sitting here, we're, we're heading over, just about to get onto the Bay Bridge coming from um, Oakland, Berkeley area over into San Francisco. So this segment was, um, is, is a classic example of um, the recovery in the wake of the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake. So this section that we're about to drive over of the Bay Bridge was was whacked so um, the top deck so we're we're driving now we're gonna be um, uh, about to go on this first new uh, expanse that was completely rebuilt the old bridge we are not gonna be driving on because this old section of the old bridge was so bad it was essentially demolished <clears throat> and, and so this span basically from a, a treasure island over to us the island in the middle of the bay to us, to, to the eastern side of the San Francisco Bay Area, uh, has all been redone. Um, and and that was motivated, one, because the bridge was, needed a lot of seismic retrofitting, et cetera, but two, because the chunk actually fell, the, the top deck fell down onto the lower deck uh, in the wake of the earthquake, the 1989 earthquake from, on October 17th, 1989. So one of the things you can do in the wake of a disaster, right, as we've as we've discussed, as we've talked about, is this idea of just returning to the, the pre-disturbance condition, the pre-impact condition. The other thing we can do is we can choose to do things better. We can choose to make things more robust, more resist, resilient. And particularly in the case of uh, coastal areas, for example, that are experiencing greater storms, uh, expanded sea level rise or heightened sea level rise, etc. Um, it's really, it doesn't make sense, I would argue, to rebuild to the old standard, the standard from 100 years ago, the standard where we think the risk was, was low of some of these flooding events and, and other events happening, and use this opportunity to build back better. This was the policy of the Obama administration via executive order. The Trump administration reversed that and said, no, 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 it's fine for you to build to the to the, to the old standard uh, recovery plans in the wake of an earthquake, in the wake of a hurricane, whatever. But President, uh, the Biden administration is returning to the Obama approach, which I think is, is a, a more reasonable and long-term more resilient approach, which is we wanna build to um, uh, make sure that we are having a more resilient infrastructure, more resilient coast, or whatever the case may be that we're talking about that was impacted by a given particular disaster um, than we were before. So this new ex this new section, um, obviously we didn't need to make some uh, you know beautiful bridge expansion thing, but um, if you're going to do something, let's make it let's make it attractive when it when it makes sense uh, economically and socially with the culture of the area. Um, so now this, this section, now we're approaching um, Treasure Island. So this is sort of the middle part of the bay. This was an area where uh, um, originally was, was a military staging area. This was originally, so we're on this, this, this terrestrial island. Then off to the right, there is, um, which you can't quite see right now, which has now become recently housing, is the city uh, and county of San Francisco have worked on um, expansion and development of this area, but but this was originally fill. Uh, the 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 section of the um, bay was filled. You can probably just start to see it in a second. Um, off to the right, um, maybe you'll be able to see it. Uh, that was originally filled for the World's Fair. Um, uh, not uh, about uh, 80 years or so ago. Um, this section of the Bay Bridge was not remained. So this was the, the bridge that existed in 1989 when the earthquake happened. This segment, there was no significant damage. But again, can you go over to the right lane for a second? If it's safe. Um, but as we look over here, as we look to the skyline of San Francisco, and as we look to the wharf area and the pier area here, all of this is fill. All of this, all of this area that we're looking at right, right here is all fill. Um, so this was all uh, filled. Um, intentionally and and not intentionally, um, and then you just follow your, your directions over here. Uh, uh, in the wake of the um, gold rush, 
and the uh, hydraulic mining of the Sierras led to a huge amount of sedimentation here in the bay. Um, but another section right now, another great example of, of what you can do post-disaster, post-earthquake uh, uh, recovery is, we're looking at the suns, it's a little bit hard to see, but there's a ferry building right there, the San Francisco Ferry Building. Huge thing now, all kinds of uh, artisanal cheeses and wines and all kinds of wonderful stuff. This is the Embarcadero, San Francisco the Embarcadero. There was an old freeway that was put in over here, uh, post World War II, and it was just horrible. The area dark, dank. It it physically cut off the 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 parts here that were the the, the piers and the and the docks and things from the rest of downtown, the the, the business district, Market Street and the like. Um, and so so the eighty nine earthquake, Loma Prieta earthquake damaged it. And so long story short, we removed all that. And the removal of this infrastructure, which was put in is, is a bad idea, is a not a good idea, um, has led to a, a huge flourishing in terms of recreation, in terms of economic opportunity, in terms of tourism, in terms of attraction, etc. Another thing I'll note, you can see right over here, Coit Tower right there. So Coit Tower um, is a memorial to the fire uh, to five major fires in San Francisco. This was built. This was at the at uh, after the. Um, uh, and so you should follow your directions, however it takes tells you to go. Uh, uh, anyway, so um, so Coit Tower was built uh, uh, as part of a memorial, and with the uh, at the behest of the estate of Ms. Coit, who was a huge uh, fire fan. Um, back in the day, we had a lot of volunteer fire departments. And so she loved fighting fires. She loved supporting firefighters, etc. And while the earthquake had huge effects on San Francisco, the epicenter of the 1906 earthquake I'm referring to was just just off just offshore um, of San Francisco. Um, and, and so the earthquake was massive across Oakland, everywhere, but the real disaster, the, the, the greatest effects in terms of lives lost, property damage, et cetera, was the, were, were the, was the fire and the multiple fires that erupted in the wake of that 1906 earthquake. So, so Coit Tower is a memorial to uh, the firefighters and efforts to stabilize. So when we talk about disasters, we can talk about um, obviously the initial recovery, but, but thinking about how we build back better, thinking about how we build, build back more resilient is a key part of disaster planning and a key part of particularly these, these large scale major devastations that occur over a broad geographic area like hurricanes and earthquakes. And San Francisco has lots of examples of how to build back better in the wake of multiple earthquakes that have happened along the San Andreas and the Daughter Faults in this area of California.